I had problems at night in terms of, of driving at night, but I was also having problems uh, uh, just generally driving. I drive a lot, part of the job that I have, and uh, it was bothering me, and I, and I really felt like I needed to do something. And I was having problems reading, frankly. I wasn't enjoying reading. When I noticed that my vision was deteriorating and it started to really bother me, uh, it was driving at night, uh, reading. At being at the grocery store and being in that, the, the fluorescent light, trying to read the labels. Cataract is one of the most common eye conditions, affecting millions of people as they grow older. This condition occurs when the eye's normally clear lens becomes cloudy. In most cases, cataracts are a result of age-related changes in the eye. The majority of cataracts affect vision in people who are over age 60. However, some cataracts can result from trauma to the eye, or from other medical conditions. Some people may be born with cataracts, or they may develop them during childhood. Well, I'd, I'd been thinking about, you know, why at 56 would I get a cataract? And I remembered that when I was in my 20s, I received a, um, I got hit uh, in the, uh, hit with the ball playing racquetball in my right eye. And it hurt tremendously. Our lenses are made mostly of water and protein. As we age, the protein in the lens may clump together and become cloudy in some areas, preventing light from passing clearly through the eye. This cloudiness of the normally clear lens is what we call a cataract. Over time, cataracts can often affect your vision in a variety of ways, causing symptoms like blurriness, poor night vision, or glare. These symptoms can gradually worsen if the cataract is not removed. Since most cataracts are part of the normal aging process, they cannot be reversed. There are no medications or eye drops that will make cataracts go away. Fortunately, your ophthalmologist can remove cataracts through surgery, restoring clear vision in most cases. Before we explore how cataracts are removed, let's learn a little about how our eyes see. Light rays enter the eye through the clear cornea, pupil, and lens. These light rays are focused directly onto the retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. The retina converts light rays into impulses sent through the optic nerve to the brain, where they are recognized as images. 70% of the eye's focusing power comes from the cornea and 30% from the lens. As a cataract slowly begins to develop, you may not notice any changes in your vision at first. But as the cataract progresses, you may begin to find that it interferes with your daily activities. Many people say that their vision with cataracts is similar to the effect of looking through a dirty windshield. In the healthy eye, the lens is clear and allows light rays to pass through unobstructed. As a cataract forms, the lens gradually becomes cloudy. As light passes through this cloudy lens, it is no longer clearly focused on the retina, causing images to appear hazy or blurred. A cataract may not need to be removed right away if it isn't affecting your lifestyle. In some cases, simply changing your glasses prescription may improve your vision for a while. However, once you are diagnosed with a cataract, you need to keep your regularly scheduled eye appointments so your ophthalmologist can monitor your vision. I noticed the problem with my vision uh, uh, over time changing uh, uh, dramatically. And I was, uh, in my right eye, I was uh, having blurrier and blurrier vision. I was having uh, serious problems at night driving. When a cataract causes bothersome vision problems that interfere with your daily activities, your ophthalmologist may advise that you have the cataract removed. Usually with cataract surgery, a small incision is made in the eye. The front portion of the thin outer covering of the lens is opened to allow removal of the cataract inside. The cataract is gently broken up and vacuumed out. Then a folded lens implant is inserted through the small incision and into the capsule where it unfolds and permanently takes the place of the clouded natural lens. With the cataract removed, the new lens implant clearly focuses light rays onto the retina. The power of the lens implant is selected for your individual eye. There was a sort of a yellow 
uh, in my eye when I had the cataract. And everything was blurred and uh, you really couldn't see colors very well. And now all of a sudden it was like a different world. You could see clearly the colors were, you know, intense. The next day I went to the doctor's office and um, sat in the chair, he removed the patch and uh, looked in the mirror and it was totally clear, totally clear. It was fabulous. It was very exciting. The lens implant, called an IOL, or intraocular lens, is usually made of a flexible, foldable material and is only about one-third the size of a dime. Before your cataract surgery is performed, your eyes will be measured to determine the correct power of IOL for you. Just as there are different strengths or powers in eyeglasses, there are also different powers of lens implants to choose. Different types of IOL designs will affect how you see when you're not wearing eyeglasses. You and your ophthalmologist will work closely together to determine the best IOL choice for you, based upon your vision needs and objectives, as well as the health of your eyes. Before cataract surgery, your ophthalmologist will perform a thorough eye exam to make sure you're a candidate for the procedure. If the doctor finds other conditions in your eye that might prevent a good outcome, he or she may recommend that you not have cataract surgery. After surgery, it's important to follow your doctor's directions. For example, you'll need to use eye drops as prescribed, avoid rubbing your eye, and notify your doctor immediately if you experience pain or loss of vision. Cataract surgery is a common procedure performed successfully on millions of people worldwide each year. However, you should be aware that if you have another condition, such as macular degeneration, glaucoma, or diabetes, even uncomplicated cataract surgery may not give you the vision you want. As with any surgery, there are risks associated with cataract surgery. These risks, although uncommon, can include infection, bleeding inside the eye, increased pressure inside the eye, swelling of the retina, and loss of vision, either partial or complete. It is possible that months or even years after cataract surgery, a part of your lens capsule that holds the lens implant in place may gradually become hazy. When this occurs, you may notice that your vision becomes fuzzy, as if you were looking through frosted glass. Normally, this condition can be treated with a laser procedure called YAG laser capsulotomy. YAG refers to the type of laser used in this procedure. Usually, it takes only a few minutes to do the procedure, and is done at the doctor's office. Converging laser beams are aimed directly at the hazy lens capsule, and as they meet, they cut a small hole in the capsule. This allows light to pass through again, restoring your vision to the way it was not long after your cataract surgery. Before scheduling surgery, you should discuss your vision goals with your ophthalmologist so you clearly understand what cataract surgery can and cannot do for you. After surgery, I uh, got new reading glasses, and it was three weeks after surgery that I was able to get a prescription. It was really important for me to be able to see again, to be able to use the computer for longer than 15 minutes at a time, and uh, it, was, it, changed, it changed my life. After cataract surgery, you may join the millions of people each year who have had their vision and quality of life improved with cataract surgery.